hello and welcome to this review of my TC7063.02.A003.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
At the top of the keyboard are a bunch of embossed legends or shortcuts, but because they didn't color them, they're almost invisible. I also have no idea what they could possibly mean. <laughs> The keycaps are medium thickness double shot ABS and they have Cyrillic legends as well as Latin sub legends in the good old Jukukeng layout. Some rather weird symbols here and there as well, not sure what these for example or this one does to be honest. The caps are uniprofile and use a block mount by the way. They have spherical key tops which cradle your fingertips towards the middle, which is kind of late for a keyboard from 1990, but is very welcome considering how terrible it is when pressed anywhere except dead center. Also note that they have almost no taper to speak of, the sides of the keycaps are practically vertical, so the key tops are very large and close together. Another really weird thing, which you might have noticed already actually, is that apart from the space bar, there isn't a single key on the keyboard that's bigger than one unit, not even the return key. I guess they knew it binds horribly off axis and couldn't be fucked to install or invent stabilizers. Overall, it's certainly not the best or even the most exciting Soviet keyboard I've ever showed, I think, but it was still a nice one to explore and I guess it was cheap too. It also came with a case which is certainly not guaranteed for Eastern Bloc keyboards at the time either. Many of them were monoblock computers with an integrated keyboard module. Anyway, that's it for this review. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. And following is a typing demonstration of me typing on this keyboard, which, being Cyrillic, obviously boils down to a bunch of random nonsense.